guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Yeah, as I mentioned last last week, um, a couple of weeks ago in early Feb, uh, we had uh, our local car show, uh, which is uh, probably the biggest one in in uh, in the region. Uh, is our annual uh, George Old Car Show. Uh, so for any car enthusiasts, that that's usually the first one down on the calendar to get to. Um, I'll I'll show you some some footage in a bit. Uh, just what the, the what the car show entails, um, but it's anything from turn of the previous centuries cars up up until the very latest models. Um, so you, if if it's got four wheels, chances are you you'll probably find it at the show. People come from all over the country to show off their their cars. Um, it and it, and it covers a lot the lot um, cars, trucks, bikes. Um, old tractors uh there's there's a spot for everybody at the show um so, so it really is a big event and obviously we we car enthusiasts gather uh die cost uh cars are are sure to follow and that's 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 the case and so it, it gives us local collectors a chance to, to catch up with with some of the more established guys from the from the bigger cities they usually do tend to make the trip down um, there are stalls set out in some of the. It's, it's held at a, at a school, at a local high school. Um, so on the on the sports fields, uh, they park up all of the cars, and then the diecast cars are in uh, sort of divided into some of the classrooms. Um, so yeah, it, it can get uh, can get quite overwhelming. Um, I didn't manage to film much inside. Uh, the classrooms are, are pretty uh, pretty pretty dark. Um, and uh, it, it got very packed um, that, that time of the morning on a Saturday. Um, but I did manage to to uh, pick up a few cars and uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at it. Every every year there's sort of a, a theme at the car show. Um, so they, I think last year's was uh, Italian cars. This year um, it was German cars. So, so one of the main organizers, um, a, a local guy here has got quite an extensive collection of, um, of Mercedes-Benz cars uh, and, and he's one of the real driving forces if you pardon the pun uh, behind the annual show and uh, in, in sticking with um, the theme this year which was German cars um, all of my pickups uh, turned out to be uh, German cars and that, that includes a little loose one as a bonus um, so yeah, uh, sticking sticking with the theme, uh, I got all Germans. Um, I'll show you uh, a couple of uh, a couple of clips that I took at the show, and then we'll look at the cars uh, straight off. So that's just a, a short um, uh, introduction or, 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 or overview of, of what what you usually could could expect at the at the car show. Um, like I said, it's it's probably one of the big. It's definitely the biggest one, like in our in our region in, in our district um, by by quite some distance. Um, there are other other car shows uh, in the province, but uh, yeah, it, it gives us a gives us George people an, an annual taste of. Uh, of, uh, quite quite the range of cars that, that, that collectors hide away uh, in their barns and garages throughout the year. So yeah, um, taking a look at uh, my pickups. Uh, let's start with the with the loose one first. It's the it's, it's obviously quite easily recognizable. Uh, it's from the car cultures. 
the Wild Adventures. I don't know what the, what the I don't think they had back in the car culture when this came out. They didn't have the names of the sets, but it was uh, called I think Wild Terrain. So it had a bunch of off-road vehicles. This one being the most iconic and most recognizable one of the lot, probably um, in that it has the the very classic um, Rothmans uh, Porsche livery from the Dakar Rally um, in the in the oh, what was this the uh, mid mid eighties I think um, it's it has got the authentic it's got the real uh, racing number the one eighty six on the side obviously it doesn't say Rothmans uh, due to it not being very popular these days to have old tobacco or cigarette brands on your cars same with the um, obviously same same with the um, liquor and alcohol brands. Um, but still iconic livery um, I have a few of these carded uh, but I'm always open to uh, picking up loose ones um, in in these classic liveries um, and then one that's become a little more readily available we've just been receiving these cases now so it's the um, the second to last Boulevard we've, we've we've got our Boulevard set a little bit out of sequence so this isn't the very latest Boulevard set, it's the, it's the previous one. Uh, if you recall in a previous video, uh, I'll show you the back with the other cars. In a previous video I did show you uh, the, um, the Hemi Challenger um, that I picked up previously. Uh, the, so that all blacked out one, but this I think is the star of the, of the set. Which is the, the all yellow. Porsche 930 uh, and it's a, it's a nice clean version um, and it's, it's always a good one to have in a premium set and being on the boulevard set uh, even better. Now one that I've, I've wanted since I've, I saw it um, released is, is the Audi, uh, the RS2 station wagon. I love this, I love this in the authentic Audi colors. I'm not a big fan of the Forza cars um, per se. I don't collect the Forza ones usually at all because I don't really like the Forza logo on the cars themselves. Um, but but in this case, uh, I think the the overriding um, Audi uh, livery uh, makes up for it. Uh, and as mentioned again, um, like I did in a previous video, number twenty three on the car, um, signifying that it's. Uh, quite like, likely to be from 2023 in this case that is correct um, they have the number 23 on the side as the racing number I love this car um, it's it's um, it's in some limited releases in some of our stores uh, but nothing uh, local I, I couldn't find it locally they never were released locally uh, so I had to get it from a a friend that uh, that had a store at the show yeah, I'm loving this. I, I can I, I see in, in some of the other videos online that these have become quite the peg warmer uh, due to just an overwhelming supply of these. But here, um, not so much. Uh, we, we didn't see a lot of these, uh, and they're quite expensive. If you have to pick them up on the secondary market, I was I was lucky to find this one. Um, like I said, uh, from a friend and a fellow collector, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that that was probably my my favorite pickup. And then a, a little classic one, um, one you don't see very often these days, uh, from the older Hot Wheels delivery set. Uh, I don't know if many people are familiar with the delivery series. Uh, quite quite a large series as well. Uh, ran side by side with the uh, with the old uh, original Boulevard series as well. They came in different subsets. Um, this one, for instance, uh, is from the Slick Rides subset. Uh, the only other one that I own from the Delivery series um, is that um, that uh, 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 double bubble uh, A100 Dodge van uh, that was from the Sweet Rides uh, series. Um, so this uh, Volkswagen variant um, in the Coney livery. You had, as with um, a lot of the, the delivery cars, 
Um, a lot of them came in two different variations. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the variation on this one is a is a silver where the blue uh, is on the car. Now the Coney Coney part is uh, is silver and not and not blue. Uh, that's if I've, I've got it correct. Uh, it might be it might be silver and black. I'm trying to find a picture of it. I don't recall at the moment exactly what the color color combinations were, but there were definitely two of these. So yeah, very happy to pick up something a little older. Uh, you don't see the the Volkswagen variant in in full premiums uh, anymore. We've seen a couple of them in um, other series where they've got um, where they where they haven't got the full premium treatment. Uh, so these were still these were still um, when they were they when they were were, were popular. Um, so yeah, uh, I like this one. So yes, sticking with an all German haul uh, from the car show. Let's see if we can balance that one on, on top. Let's keep it like that. And those are my pickups from the car show. So yeah, uh, a little bit shorter video this week. I thought we'd make it a, a little bit more show and uh, a little less tell after last week's uh, NFT discussion. So yeah, uh, next week we'll uh, we'll get back to our un unboxings. Um, I've got a box that's been sitting on the shelf behind me for quite a while. That's a bit of a jumble. Um, so we'll uh, we'll unpack that one together and see uh, see what pops out. I'm, I'm not even 100% sure what <laughs> what what is what is in the box. Uh, to be honest, uh, I've had it for a while. I've got, you know, I've got I've got more or less an idea of what it should be. But we'll, we'll slice that one open together and, and see what pops up. All right, have a good one. See you next week. Cheers.